fresh, clean water is life. The children were mesmerized as they had never heard or seen water coming from the earth. Since 2015, 14 wells have been dug mostly in the Sankuru province. This province is two-thirds the size of Florida with 1.9 million people and until 2015 had no fresh water wells. Would you share with us what having the water here means for you and your family? Helps us breaking, uh, washing our clothes, cooking with water, and, and we, we we are not going anymore to the brook far away from house. Because it was hard uh, going up a hill to get water. Yes. Now we have water in a uh, uh, near and short distance. Okay. And also. Uh, water is life. Yeah. No water, no life. Seven wells were dug in the village of Wemboyama, a United Methodist mission station with almost 100,000 people living in the surrounding area. Manual pumps are used in Wembo because the elevation is low enough that we can use manual pumps. This helps with maintenance and cost since there is no electricity in the entire province. Families come and bring their jerry cans to fill about six gallons and weighs over 40 pounds when filled. They just hoist it onto their heads and carry it home. Each village has a committee responsible for the maintenance and hygiene training for their wells. A small fee is requested, the equivalent of five cents, so they can purchase parts needed for maintenance, so it's self-sustaining. Parts are difficult to get and must be sent from Kinshasa, over a thousand miles away. It can take up to three months for it to arrive, so it is important to keep extra parts on hand. Because COVID shut down shipping, it has taken almost two years to get the parts from Kinshasa needed to dig new wells. What a joy it was when they arrived when we were there and transported to Dengenga. We celebrated their arrival and dedicated them after worship one Sunday with such joy. So we need you to continue to pray. Because water is life. Because water is life. When we worshiped just four days, five days ago, a church, you know, the church, the church, Eight people had died that month. We're going to continue to work as long as God enables May God take these gifts. May God bring forth water. To the people in all of these villages. The engineer and team have started digging five new wells in villages where typhoid and other water-related diseases kill people every day. The funding for these wells comes from churches and people across the United Methodist Connection. We dedicated the land where a well will be dug in Okita Dindaba. This well made possible through the generosity of a church in Florida. When we visited Kotakokombe, a village of about 30,000 people, after worship the chief and health officials told us that eight people had died that month in the village from typhoid. We didn't have the money for this well, but through God's grace and the generosity of a church in Florida, money was given so we could contact the engineer to dig the well immediately. We also dedicated the land in Enjo, where several children had died of typhoid, made possible through a contribution of the church and 
Pennsylvania. That's the way God provides. There is so much more to be done. Water is life. Thank you for your generosity.